This monumental installation is the work of Ghanaian artist Elan Atsui. He's created three sculptures for the vast turbine hall of London's Tate Modern. The museum has been attempting to widen its collections in recent years to reflect a more diverse art world. This year is the eighth year of the Hyundai Commission for Tate Modern's Turbine Hall. And this year we have commissioned the Ghanaian artist Elan Atsui, who with his studio worked with over two million bottle tops and fragments to imagine a work in three acts for the Turbine Hall, forming expansive, uh, free-flowing sculptural forms. And they're very much rooted in Elle's interest in histories of migration, both of goods and people. The journey starts with the billowing expanse of the Red Moon in a sail-like form. Since the late 1990s, the artist has experimented with liquor bottle tops, the product of a global industry built on colonial trade routes. Ellen Atsui came to the Turbine Hall on a number of site visits, as artists that we commission, of course, do. And when he entered, uh, one of the most vivid memories that I have is that he spoke of it as a ship. And for Ellen Atsui, the histories of migration and movement of goods and people have been absolutely embedded in the material that he works with. So the aluminium bottle top is a kind of marker of an industry that was formed on colonial trade routes that connected Europe, Africa and the Americas. 79-year-old Ellen Atsui is a long-established artist who has previously had solo exhibitions at La Conciergerie in Paris, to name just one example. So Ellen Atsui is an artist of great international acclaim. He has a career spanning over five decades. He was uh, born in Ghana and has spent most of his life living and working in Nsuka in southeast Nigeria. He's an artist, I think, who has routinely kind of worked with uh, materials in a way that have kind of certain social histories. And what he's interested in doing quite often is using these materials to kind of reveal something about our shared past. So actually, he's been based in West Africa purposefully throughout his career, dealing with the kind of materials that are readily available in his environment. And that actually isn't just a decision that one could say is, is economical. It's actually about the way he thinks about art. Ellen Atsui combines African aesthetic tradition with the global history of abstraction. The Behind the Red Moon exhibition runs until April 14, 2024.